hello everyone welcome to my another tutorial video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to update the firmware on sony a74 dslr mirrorless camera so let me show you first of all the menu system in there so let's turn on the camera and as soon as camera turn on go to the menu and when you go to the last option it says the setting option so in the last option you go to the setup option and when you enter that menu in the last option says version so when you open up that one and you will see the firmware version of this uh, camera which is a 1.00 i have not updated this from a long time so since i had this camera so i decided to upload and make a video as well to show you guys how you can update as well so there's a few steps we have to follow so first of all what i'm going to do is uh, uh, we need a sd card to update download the data file from uh, sony website and uh, transfer that file to the sd card and then camera will update the firmware from that sd card so guys i'm going to use the kingston 256 gigabyte sd card so let's open up this on the side and i'm going to put this one in a slot one and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to format this one before we proceed further so let's uh, format this sd card go to the main menu again and go to the movie option then select media and then go to the format and we are using the card in slot one so i'm going to format that just like that the formatted has been performed so let's take out our sd card and jump onto the computer screen first so guys first of all you have to go to this website from sony on the download page i will leave a link in description you can uh, follow the stuff from here so now what you have to do is there's a first option in downloads system software update this is ilce dash 7m4 system software so first of all what we have to do is uh, if you have not updated from a long time so as on the screen it says when you're updating from 1.01 or earlier you have to update to 1.05 before we're proceeding to the latest update which is a 2.01 so first of all because i am using the version 1.00 so i have to download version 1.05 first and then update that one to our camera and then again format the sd card and download the latest one and then use that update to our camera is 2.01 so first of all we have to download 1.05 so let's click on that one as long as you click on that one downloading then there's uh, some information in here and user license agreement you have to read through that one and then you will see the option to download so on download page start downloading in here this is around uh, 500 mb file size in here so let it download and then we'll copy that file to our sd card so guys the file has been downloaded the size of that is 801 mb so make sure you have uh, enough space in your sd card so guys let's copy the file we downloaded from the sony website and transfer to our sd card so make sure this file is out of the private folder so camera can read this file otherwise camera will not detect the file you have pasted into the folder i have transferred the file to the sd card let's put that into our camera slot one and then go to the menu on the last option again version and now you will see the software update option is on so sony recommend you have to charge the battery of the camera 100 percent but this is a 90 percent on my camera so let's update this one so when i press the update software you have to go through some of the information here so this one is updating 1.00 to 1.05 as you can see on my camera screen so you have to read through some of the information here 
so this one says do not turn off the power or remove the media during update there's a few information in there you have to read through and this will say is the display will be off but there's a blinking light on here that will be blinking during the update uh, accordingly while is nearly going to finish the blinking light would be blinking fast so it will take five to ten minutes to update everything so as it says in here lamp will blink faster as the update is progressing so i'm going to execute that so the camera screen is turned off but we will see the blinking light over here as you can see so the camera is updating it will take a little bit time around about 10 to 15 minutes so let's see how much time is gonna take so guys the lights are stopped blinking so it means our camera is updated now so let's turn on again and check out our firmware version in there so i go back to the setting and now as you can see it's been updated to 1.05 and uh, let's format the card again and proceed to the second step now so go back to media format and slot one and format that card so it's been formatted so guys we have to go back to the same page again on sony downloads so click back to the same link again and now this time because we already upgraded to 1.05 now we have to the latest one so when you go to that page this there is a download option you can download that one same here some agreements you have to read through and then download that and it will start downloading so guys i already downloaded that in there so let's copy that one that file which is uh, around around about 900 mb so let's go back to the sd card and we start here so guys this is a sony a74 latest firmware file 2.01 so it's been copied to our sd card let's inject the card and insert to our camera so guys second file has been downloaded and insert to our sd card let's put the back to the slot one and this time we are going to upgrade 1.05 to 2.01 so go back to the menu and then go back to the last setup option and then setup option again number 12 and then go to the version and you can see there's a 1.05 now and there's an option now to update that one so let's jump into that so the camera battery is remaining to 82 percent so it's only take uh, eight percent battery to update that but uh, make sure the batteries are in good condition depend on your camera's usage as well on on your battery so make sure your battery is 100 percent charged otherwise plugged into the power source so let's proceed further and now we'll show you the same information again which we already read you have to have a 100 percent battery and screen will turn off and there will be blinking light so execute the second update so start updating again and you will see the blinking light in few seconds they start blinking again so once it's updated the blinking light will completely stop and then you go back to the setting and then you can check out if it's updated so guys our updated are completed so the says on a screen body update is complete so so now with this update with the 2.01 on sony a74 you will have an option to install creator app in your phone and uh, you can do so many different things with that one so let's go back to the menu and uh, now we have an, some extra options in our menu as it sees that was the version was the last option but now you will see the display serial number in there as you can see in here and uh, 
now go back to the version there is a version 2.01 in here now so this is how you upgrade your sony a7 IV to the newer version step by step first of all there's a few uh, steps you have to follow while you are updating from 01 to 1.05 and then 1.10 and 1.11 and then 2.0 but because i wasn't update anything in there so 1.0 to 1.05 and then straight away there's there was an option to update to 2.01 so for example if you have a new if you just buy the camera recently my, you might not need to update your camera because uh, there's already update in there but most of the time you, you know, after buying the new camera you always need to update to the newer version in there so there's so many different options are available in our menu in there so it's no buggy anymore the setting you're going to save in in your camera it will be saved in there properly so uh, whenever you buy the new cameras uh, you make sure you have uh, latest update in there so you can use the fully customized menu in there and all the options uh, sony sport at the moment right now so guys if you like my tutorial video of upgrading sony a7 IV firmware step by step please leave a like and stay tuned to my youtube channel and press the bell icon for the upcoming video tutorial and unboxing and tech review so see you in next one thank you very much for watching <laughs>